Sometimes you just got to drink the Kool-Aid. I just saw a presentation by Southwest Airlines in lovely Cape Coral, Florida. And one of the things that struck me was that they really, really take the recruitment process and their attitude, their whole love persona that goes through the whole organization, how they take that seriously. Everything from the recruitment through to the CEO and sending out letters of congratulations and, and encouraging people to, to do better and to reward people in what you would otherwise consider to be really corny ways. The reason why it works is that they go all in. What happens with a lot of organizations is, and we know this from our mystery shopping um, clients is that they get the results and then they might reward the top performers and send them a letter or a voucher or a something. And it's like a tick box. It's like that person did a good job, therefore they get this reward. But what happens at Southwest Airlines, and they are a special company because they were probably the first company to introduce low fare airlines around the world. And that was 50 plus years ago. They're still in existence today. And there's a reason for that. They, they've held true to their virtues, their, their, their whole belief, it's deep in their core about treating the customer well, treating the staff well and treating the communi community well. My point is you can't just fingertip and dip your toe in the water into this. You've got to go all in. If you don't go all in, it's seen as a cynical exercise. It's seen as a as a transient exercise. They've been doing it for 50 plus years. They believe in it and they do it so wholeheartedly that it kind of makes you want to drink the Kool-Aid. So my, my message coming out of that is like you just can't go in three quarters of the way. You can't go 90% of the way. If you want to build that kind of culture, you've got to go in all the way. Otherwise, you can quite legitimately have another structure or another strategy that just says, we're going to follow these certain processes and this is how we're going to be and that's the way it's going to be. That's fine if that's your strategy, but you can't pretend to be one thing and do another. That's what we measure in mystery shopping and that's why I do mystery shopping.